all right hello everyone as you may be aware the speedometers on these hawks aren't exactly the best the mechanical speedometer uh, there's no tachometer uh, it's got the gauges uh, fuel neutral uh, brights signals it's got all that uh, the speedo's kind of iffy and uh, like I say I don't have a tack so I picked up this uh, speedometer tachometer thing make juggler I got this one from Amazon uh, in most of the videos about this they'll power them up and that's about as far as it goes uh, so there's not a lot to this it comes with the uh, it comes with the speed sensor magnets you got to figure out how to fabricate brackets and put these all in yourself and this is the extent of the instructions which is basically not much but fortunately I did run across classic silicas and more and he has these really links to these really nice diagrams the impossible to find uh, settings and I'll have a link to his channel below in the description so you can get those and print them out if you happen to have or decide to get one of these now I'm gonna cheat a little bit since uh since my hawk already has just about everything except the the tack and the speedo itself all right eight millimeter to take this off and on each side and you just kind of lift it up got little little pegs here to go into these little things so you just kind of lift it up and set it aside look at how this wiring is in here yikes that's scary isn't it well fortunately I'm not gonna have to mess with all that because I'm gonna cheat a little bit I got these uh these little splicers just kind of clamps in pokes on that's what i'm going to use and go to the go to the wires that are already there so i'll start by removing this uh, if it will uh, there we go so I didn't have a knife handy. I wonder if I could do it with these. At least get it started. There we go. Now this really wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for this diagram. Classic silicas and more channel link in the description it's about the only uh, the only helpful helpful one I found so this is the main one so back that up a little bit it goes like this blank space and it tells what each one's for and the colors some of them aren't exactly the same so that's why I'm taking it out to look at it instead of now the three pronger this one here you don't want to mess with that just goes to the this which already has a harness so you don't have to mess with that 
Okay. I'm just going to do this the dumb way and cut everything off at once. Because that's the way I do it. That would have been awesome if they would have sent the other side of these. Then you could have just hooked them up to the other wires and plugged them in, but they don't. So, yeah. Those I won't even mess with. Okay. So the first thing I do is strip these out. Mm, a little over half an inch down. Yeah. Like I say, their, their wiring colors aren't totally consistent. Colorblind assemblers or something, I don't know. Okay. So I'm just going to go by this separate diagram here. That's what I'm going to go by. I'm not going to try messing with trying to figure the colors and all that junk. I'll hook these things on there. Let's see. Okay. As you see, I had to switch all these over to the red ones because the yellow ones weren't small enough and they weren't going through the rubber into the wire. Otherwise, it's all the same. Just plug in. Ah, try and get the fuel gauge line in. There we go. All right, let's see what we do now. <laughs> uh, okay. And voila. Hey, except for the neutral light. Hmm. Neutral light's not showing. Fuel gauge is working. Let's see. Signals. Same. right signal or left signal same okay lights high beam and it's working okay so I gotta get the neutral so did I just forget to plug it in or what where is that bugger neutral this one okay mm. <laughs> wiring is such a mess okay where's that neutral at second one over this right here <laughs> got something plugged into it Okay, now for the settings. Okay, it says uh, setting button on the back. This little guy right here. Okay. Uh, ta -da, after you pile up power on the dial, press and hold the button for five seconds. Enter into the setting mode. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I just changed it to miles per hour instead of kilometers. That's cool. Okay. Some of the videos say to hold the button while you turn it on. Maybe that'll do it better. Uh, yeah, that did it. Okay, number one. Uh, circumference setting. First setting area when the speed display. Okay, this is where you got, for the speedometer, you put in the, the size of your tire. And it's the circumference all the way around in millimeters. Yeah. Okay. Go back, go back. It's best to have that measured out before you start this, which I did. Ugh. Okay. All right, come on, go back to number one. Dang it. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, okay. Apparently, I got to start this over. Three, four, five. Okay, I got 20. Then you wait for it to switch to the next number. Two. Wait for the next number, and 35 is mine. One, two, three. Wait for the next number. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Twenty-two hundred and thirty-five millimeters. Okay. Hold and press the button three seconds to save and enter into the magnetic steel setting. Okay. C. Enter into the second setting area where the speed displays. Eight turns to two. The mileage shows blah means default values at ranges one to twelve. There are two magnets still. Okay, I want two and it's on two, so we'll just keep it there. Now, number three tire rotating setting. Enter in the third setting area when the speed displays something turns to three. Blah blah blah. The mileage shows blah. Hill engine cylinder number is two. Single cylinder and double cylinder do not need set. Press the button to set the number. Okay. Well, I can't set it to one, so it doesn't need set. Okay, four. Fuel meter wire. I've got two wires, so that's good. And number five is just to clear the mileage, and since there isn't any on there, We'll just leave that where it's at. Okay. Mm. Okay, how do you get out of there now? Oh, shit. Okay. Should be all set then. All right. Now... Try to tackle this tack problem. Okay, very first one. Very first one, RPM. Voila. Okay, now this will probably only work on the hop here because what I found was right here. This wire is coming out of the case. I just stuck the wire that I have hooked to the tack in these holes. And this blue and white wire, stuck it in there, and watch this.
All right, so there we have it. Wasn't real difficult. Let's see how it looks here. So everything except the speedo in neutral so far. I can't do the speedo till uh, I get a drill bit. I looked, I can't find mine. So, looks like it's gonna be pretty cool. All right. For that big hollow space looks pretty much the same all right later get the rest of it tomorrow <laughs>